Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to show you this video today. I haven't been this excited about an art medium for a long time. It's a resin. I did show you a video a couple weeks ago on an abstract piece that I made with resin, which was really fun. But this is a M-geode. <laughs> My husband came up with that, I thought that was cute. But it's a geode. Get it, M geode. Anyway, that I made with resin and crystals and acrylic paint and glitter. And it was really fun and it's sparkly and it's gorgeous. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. The first clip that you're going to see, two by four board as my substrate. I covered it with shower curtain. And then on top of the shower curtain, I made the design using silicone that goes in this caulking gun. And later in the video, you'll see me actually caulking again because I didn't make it thick enough to begin with. But at the beginning of the video, it will already be caulked onto the shower curtain which is attached to my two by four piece of wood. The reason I did that is because I wanted you to be able to see the back. Most of the videos that I've seen, they pour the resin right onto the board, so it has to be hung on the wall. But I knew I wanted this to be a free form geode, so I wanted the back to be beautiful too. And you'll see how beautiful it is in the video. I also want to show you the resin that I used. It's premium quality clear epoxy resin, super gloss, and it's from the resin store. $40 for a gallon, and that was on Amazon. I also used different acrylic crystals, and I just got them on Amazon. Purple, white, and light purple, and different glitters from the dollar store. And I used silver glitter, and white glitter, and purple glitter. All the paint I used is from Nova Paints that I've talked about many times. They're local here and they have amazing pigments in their paints. They get the paint to you overnight. The best part about Nova Paints is that they also make gels and texture pastes that are every bit as good, if not better, than Liquitex and Golden for a fraction of the price. I hope it inspires you to create a beautiful geode. So here is my 2x4 board and it has a shower curtain on top of it that I've taped underneath and then I just used my caulking gun with the silicone to make the design. And here are the acrylic. I used three different sizes, small, medium, large and dark purple, light purple and a medium purple. And then I also used purple glitter. And so I separated them into cups with a mixture of each. And then I poured some resin over them. And you don't want to pour too much where it's really liquidy, where the resin's going to run off, but you want them all to be covered with the resin. Because this is going to be put on straight onto the shower curtain. And I'm putting them all around the the holes that I've cut out so that you will see them on both sides and it will look like an actual geode in the center. Here's the paint that I'm using. It's all Nova paints and I used a purple, a silver, and a white. The ratio resin to paint is 10% paint and the rest resin. So I'm just kind of showing you how I poured that and just mixing it up here. I took a little bit too long mixing my paint. So now that I'm putting it on, I can see it's getting sticky and the resin's starting to cure, which is not good. But I did pour a layer of white, purple, and silver, and then I got some crazy idea that I wanted to put gold in there. And I absolutely hate it. <laughs> and I spend the next layer getting rid of it. <laughs> well, we're gonna have several layers here because this is a free form 
standing piece. So it has to be about two inches deep. I'm spreading the resin around with my fingers because I don't want it to just stay stuck there. And all these layers just add dimension. Now I took a syringe just from the dollar store and I filled it with glitter, resin, and paint. And I'm putting that around my openings. Again, giving it more depth and dimension. And then I go ahead and I put some more crystals on there just to build that area up. And this process goes on and on back and forth throughout the whole video because it's only about a quarter of an inch high now and I need it to get up to an inch and a half. And that takes some time. After I put more stones on, I added a coat of clear resin which will build it up and it'll be on top of the colors. So there'll be like a space in between, which will look great. Now I'm mixing up some mica powders with my resin. I have a purple and a silver and a darker color that I just love. It's a purpley black color. And this again is just going to be get building up the layers and giving it dimension and I was really happy with what this dark color did. I finally realized I needed to make an area out of that top left spot and the bottom right spot because it wasn't flowing in there as well as I wanted it to. So now I'm just heating up the resin with my torch just to get rid of the bubbles and then now I'm using my heat gun and trying to move the resin around to get to get the colors to make some different shapes for me and I don't know everyone uses the heat gun I'm not thrilled with it sure it gets hot but it doesn't always move the resin for me so I there's my husband now I'm doing another layer with mica powder and paint and I'm taking my palette knife and I'm just pulling that resin across and that's going to give it another effect, a different look, a different dimension. It was getting too dark for me, so I thought I wanted it lighter. So I go in with some lighter colors. I'm just staying in the same purple, silver and white palette but I'm just putting more white or more of the silver color. I did let my resin dry overnight in between most of these layers. And that way I could build it up. Now I took the resin and I poured silver glitter in it and it made the most beautiful effect. And now I'm using a dark purple black mica powder mixed with resin and I really like that the white was not what I wanted so this really darkened it up and this is a process that is going to go on and on it went on for two weeks actually I worked on it every day for two weeks now I'm using a heat gun to pop any bubbles that might be in this new layer of resin and then I will go in and move it around and you can still see underneath the different layers that have been poured, which is really, really what makes it a really special piece. I'm using my heat gun to heat the resin up a bit, possibly move it around. I'm getting some movement from it, but you can use any colors you want, any glitters you want, any acrylic crystals you want, just to build these layers up. Now I'm using the blow dryer to really move them around because the heat gun doesn't quite move them the way I like it to. And at this point, the resin is getting into my crystal, so I'm trying to get that out. But I want that really bright purple to come up from the bottom. If you just hold your blow dryer down enough, you'll get the different layers to come up. And it's just 
it's gorgeous. So here it is the next day. It has definite circles around that I kept from the glitter, the white glitter, the silver glitter, but the whole piece is darker. And this is an up close. You can see the white glitter, the silver glitter, and then all the designs with all the different layers of paint mixed with resin. You can see my acrylic crystals and it's really starting to look like a geode now. I'm really loving it now. The most exciting part about working with resin is that it's like glass on top and you can look down and see all the different layers. So it's just fascinating. You can stare at it forever. It's all dry, so it's time to take the silicone off. And what I found while doing this was that it needed to be thicker. It was never going to stand up. It was too thin. So I had to go and add more silicone to raise it up another inch. So here is the back of it. I'm taking the shower curtain off. The edges are really, really rough. I don't want to sand them, so I'm filling them with a mixture of resin and silver confetti. It's quite dramatic, the look that it did with that. I really love it. And it filled in all of those sharp edges from the silicone mold. So now I turned it over and I'm filling, adding silicone to the top of it another inch because it's not going to stand up being a half an inch high. I put the silicone in the center as well, just so the resin doesn't spill over. And I go back with my layers. I started with just a clear layer of resin which is really effective in between colors because it kind of raises up the colors below. I just wanted to zoom that in so that you could see the di different colors and the different dimension that it really does take on. Now I'm pouring clear resin again. And onto that, I'm adding glitter. This is a really pretty purple glitter that I'm adding on. And I go all around the stones, which kind of makes the stones sparkle again, because a lot of that paint got in there and kind of took the sheen off of my acrylic gems. So now I'm taking white glitter and I'm pouring it around the openings and with the resin being so wet, that glitter will kind of go out and disperse. Now I'm pouring more resin on top and then going in with that silver glitter just right on top of that white kind of to the edge of it and that'll kind of pull out into the resin as well. Now I'm adding quartz crystal points. They will stick out into the center of the holes that I've created and give it just a really different dimension. Now I'm adding my last layer of resin with some glitter, perfecting the quartz crystals and just getting that level to rise to the top of that silicone. I absolutely love the colors that it's created now. It's just a matter of more resin, more glitter. <laughs> However, whatever colors you want, just to raise it up to the inch and a half height that I need to make it stand up. 
Now this is, I've taken it out and I'm working on the back with my Sharpie pens and I'm creating some more circles around my openings. That just gives it a geode look. Everybody does it, so I did it in the back, but I don't really like it that much, so I didn't do it in the front. And I still think I got a, a good effect in the front. The color is a white, and it's an oil paint that is in a Sharpie pen. Then I used the silver one and, of course, the purple one just to make these lines. I went in with a Q-tip soaked with alcohol to soften the lines because I just don't like the way they look. So I wanted to video this with the tripod so that you could see the sheer scale of it compared to me. It's two feet by four feet long. Gorgeous, you can see all the detail. happens when you do all the different layers is that you can see deep down into it the gradations of the different layers that I did. The little crystal points I just laid on there and I poured resin, clear resin over them. Just gives it a little more of a detail. And then as you walk up our stairs, you can see the back. some detail of the back. I hope this video inspires you to make a geode for yourself. It was a really wonderful project. Namaste.